Hi, my name is John Serla, executive chef and proprietor of Fina Restaurant, located here in Ripon, California. And today we're gonna to make something very uncommon, California squab. Now let me show you one of my famous recipes that we make at the restaurant. Here we have a double breast of California squab. It's um, boneless and it has a skin tack. Here I'm going to season with a little olive oil and salt and pepper on both sides. And I'm going to place on the grill at 11 o'clock for about three minutes and then I'm going to rotate it to two o'clock. Over here, Gonna be making a stir fry. I'm gonna start off with a little olive oil in the pan, hot pan. And then here's my vegetables. I have some portobello mushroom right here. I just wanna season lightly with salt and pepper. The salt will help release all the liquid from the mushroom. So once your mushrooms have sweated down for about a minute, I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil. I wanna start with my hardest vegetables. So I have some carrots here, green beans and Brussels sprouts. I wanna give them a nice toss. The oil will help give that nice shine on the vegetables and help cook them. Then I want to add some uh, local zucchini squash to the pan. And then one of my favorite ingredients, butter. So the sauce I'm going to add to this is a hoisin plum sauce, found at your local Asian aisle in your grocery store. Um, take 50% 50, 50 or one part plum sauce to one part hoisin sauce. So now you can see the water releasing from the mushroom and the zucchini and all the vegetables. Creating nice steam. Lastly, I want to add some minced garlic and some hand chopped shallots. You don't want to add your garlic in the beginning because you can burn it, so I always add it at the end. Now I want to add a little of the hoisin plum sauce to the stir fry. Turn that squab. Ooh, that's hot. That's hot. Now I'm going to baste the squab with a little hoisin plum sauce. This will help give it a little bit of color. Never ever add this plum sauce in the very beginning. It will burn. We just want to create that nice barbecue effect.
Here we have our stir fry made with our hoisin plum sauce. I'll just stick that right in the middle. And I'm gonna take my squab here, my sharp slicing knife. And I'm just gonna cut in a few pieces just to fan it out. Here's a squab, the two breasts. Place it right on top, like so. And I have some fresh scallions or green onions to garnish. And then I'll just take a little bit of that hoisin plum and just brush the tops. And there you go. There's your Chinese stir fry made with grilled squab and a hoisin plum sauce.